right. Uh, greetings, everybody. This is Deron Chavis. We're here um, at the um, Strengthening Family Fatherhood Conference. Real powerful program, having a lot of good information, and we're here with Sean. <laughs> with Sean Young from Brother to Brother Mentor and Young Lives Youth and Family Development. Um, today, man, um, one of our objectives is to try to call a lot of information for folks that weren't able to attend today. Um, you know, from the ground up, trying to talk to people who do work in the community, who deal with this population, you know, especially as, as it relates to fathers. It's a huge issue, you know, social stability, a huge part of that is fatherhood involvement. And um, without that missing component, you know, we could see, you know, what kind of problems it causes. Um, but I want to get a couple questions in. Okay. You know, answer them at your, le at your leisure. Um, my first question is, is um, what do you see as the connection between uh, fatherlessness and poverty? Okay. Well, research shows um, you know, very statistics out there. Um, kids who don't have their fathers in their home, mm -hmm. you know, most likely come from um, low income families, low income neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that, that draws in self esteem mm -hmm. of kids getting through school, mm -hmm. having the resources that they need to get through school, mm -hmm. um, and be able to compete not only locally but globally now. Right, right, you know, right. Our world is getting a lot smaller, mm -hmm. um, and our kids have to compete globally for jobs. Right, right, right. Um, and they have to, in order to compete, they have to have an education mm -hmm. um, so that they can compete in that global yeah, environment. That's very true. So you see it like, you know, the father not being is like a detriment because of lack of income, you know, financially. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a lot of things um, tied to it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, lack of income, mm -hmm. um, that's one thing. Mom has to work one, two, sometimes three or four jobs right, right, right. Um, just to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, another thing that um, it's kind of sad is that the systems that are in place, mm -hmm. you know, like the child work, the, the welfare system, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of promotes fathers not being in the home. How so? How so? Um, for years, it's, it's been going on like that for years. Um, you know, you look at women being able to get more resources if the male's not involved. Right. You know, back in the day, they would have social workers going to the homes mm -hmm. and check to see if, you know, uh, men were staying there mm -hmm. um, in the home and if they found any evidence of a man staying there mm -hmm. you know he benefits can be cut off right, right. so you know it really promotes uh, fathers not really being involved mm -hmm. you know, not only the welfare system but child support enforcement mm -hmm. you have guys who want to pay child support but at the same time you know they're trying to provide for themselves so mm -hmm. if we could get to a place where we're providing prevention mm -hmm. rather than intervention I think we'll be better off Okay, um, uh, you said you're with uh, Young Minds and Family Development. What are some ways that your organi organization uh, combats fatherlessness? Uh, well, some of the things that we do, we try to get the kids young, mm -hmm. um, as young as we can. We work with them at young males, 7 to 18, mm -hmm. um, and we promote responsibility, being accountable. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's teaching the young men that regardless of what happens in life, mm -hmm. you know, you have to own up to what you do, whatever choices you make. Mm -hmm. And if we can teach them to be responsible, mm -hmm. you know, that can prevent, you know, out of wedlock births, right. you know, and really have these mm -hmm. young men really commit to the lives uh, in their communities. Right. So that's, right. you know, if we can prevent that, you know, that will prevent fatherlessness. Mm -hmm. um, what are some other obstacles you think that are, that are, that kind of like impede the progress and decrease in fatherlessness in the community? What are some? Uh, you spoke on the benefit programs, but what are some other things that you know kind of hinder that? Um, yes. Like everybody pick on the, the, the entertainers, you know, yeah. it's a lot of falsehoods that are being promoted. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of gang activity. You know, kids are looking for some sense of attachment, mm -hmm. some sense of belonging, mm -hmm. and they'll go to any end to, to have that. You right. know? So they'll join gangs, they'll look to um, role models and entertainers mm -hmm. and athletes. And if those individuals aren't promoting, Mm -hmm. healthy things for these kids mm -hmm. then they're just adding to the devastation that right, we're right, right. that's true that's true no, um, one last question I'm going to let you go okay. um, you know I'm a um, I work with 
Department of Social Services and as you used to. Right. right. Um, what um, what ways can we, you know, community leaders, um, uh, businesses, um, just individuals, uh, religious leaders, um, what ways can we assist, you know, in combating fatherlessness? What are some ways that we can get engaged in this issue? Uh, again, trying to reach the children mm -hmm. um, at an early age, trying to put programs in place so that these kids have someone to look up to mm -hmm. in a positive manner. Um, also trying to work with the mothers and the fathers, and trying to get the fathers back involved mm -hmm. in the children's lives. They don't necessarily have to be um, in a, a, a relationship with the mother, right. you know, but they can be cordial and work at the full best interest of the kids. Yeah. But really, just be committed. Mm -hmm. um, I think commitment is one of the biggest keys in collaborating mm -hmm. for the best interest of the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, man. I appreciate your time, man. And um, I see you got a book here. What, um, what's right. going on? What's the name of your book? Uh, book is. 30 years ago. Book is. You would have heard people. Uh, brother to Brother Motivation for Young African American Men. Um, that problem is my not father, a problem. two brothers, and myself, we wrote a book. Um, got challenged to write a book in 30 days. Mm -hmm. um, didn't quite do it in 30 days, but <laughs> we did publish the book mm -hmm. and we allowed men to be mentors through writing. Mm -hmm. um, we had different subjects, manhood, spirituality, fatherhood, um, you know, just different subjects. And we wrote essays to the beginning of each chapter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we sent out emails and asked men to contribute words of wisdom right. to younger guys. Right, right. And so that compiles the rest of the book. Okay, you know, wow. so you, know, you can reach us at brotherbrothermotivation.com mm -hmm. or uh, youngmindsinc.org mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to get a copy of it. Work. All right. Well, thank you, man. You be blessed, man. And I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, taking the time to rock right. with us today. No problem. All right. Peace, man. All right. <laughs>